So hi guys, welcome to my vlog. And our vlog for today is all about post-truth cancel culture and history by Professor Ronald A. Dalagan. The post-truth cancel culture is common in our society nowadays. Cancel culture is a social group behavior in which it is result to fully reject and stop supporting someone because they said or done something that offend you, especially on social media. Before going any further, it is necessary to comprehend what it means to be cancelled. So, according to diarycom.com, cancel culture refer to be popular practice of withdrawal support for the public figure and companies after they have done or said something considered objectionable or offensive. In the most extreme cases, those who were cancelled was their career come to an end. As a result, the phenomena arose in 2018 as a result of numerous examples of celebrities engaging in the criminal or problematic behavior on social media. Therefore, cancel culture can be harmful to the accused in the long term. The disadvantage of encouraging cancel culture is it denies the perpetrator to oppor opportunities to make a aim in preventing wrongdoings from progressing beyond their fault. Those who fully pray to this type of culture has no way of right their wrong or remaining themselves because the majority have figurative removed them from the society. Cancel culture can be sometimes harmful to someone because it will come to the point that we Filipinos sometimes give or view our judgment, judgment to a person about their life even it is not necessary based on the fact we sometimes forget to be more res respectful to someone because of our wrongdoings and sometimes we are entitled on our own opinions and we sometimes harm someone.